Hello everyone. This is Simple Subject and Predicate Worksheet. This is Station 3. You will need your writer's notebook with your simple subject and predicate um, notes that you took last week and you should have taped in there, but they may be in your um, language arts folder. And I did put tape here, so if you need to tape those in, you need your linking verbs your list of linking verbs, which I uh, put some extras on the counter if you need them. If you don't have your simple subject, simple predicate notes, then you're going to have to go back, find the video, and take those notes first because that'll be really beneficial. So I did not make a separate direction sheet today. Uh, all of your directions are basically at the top of your worksheet. So I'm just going to click on the worksheet and I'm going to talk about it. You should have a worksheet. It should be laying on the counter. So um, here are your directions for today. So if you look, or if you remember, subject plus predicate equals sentence. Okay. Subject always comes first. Even if there's other nouns in the sentence, the noun comes at the beginning of the sentence. And remember, you read left to right. You start at the left and work yourself to the right work your way to the right, just like when you're reading. So here's the directions. First, students will draw a line between the complete subject and the complete predicate. If you remember, the complete subject, like I told you on Friday before we played our game, the complete subject is all of the words plus the simple subject that comes before the verb. So it may be an adjective, it may be an article like the or a or an, okay? The complete predicate are, is the verb or verbs plus any adverbs, adjectives, or even possibly nouns in the, in the predicate of the sentence, okay? But remember, the subject always comes first, and just like our equation up here, you start at the left and work your way to the right to make the complete sentence, okay? So after you've drawn that line between the complete subject and the complete predicate, number two, second, the students will circle the simple subject and simple predicate in each sentence, okay? So, and if once you've finished this video or right now while you're watching the video, if you draw a smiley face in the corner and write, hi, Miss Hildreth, you'll get a shield. That'll prove to me that you watched the video. Um, so you're going to circle your simple subject and simple predicate in each sentence. Number three, third, the students will write three sentences about a topic of their choice that is appropriate for school. Draw a line between the complete subject and predicate. Circle the simple subject and predicate in each sentence. So here's my examples. Miss Hilder's classes are doing well this year. Miss Hilder's classes are my complete subject. Are doing well this year is my complete predicate. So that's why I drew that blue line in between classes and are doing. Okay. Miss Hildreth's is a describing, is being used as a describing words or describe to tell what kind of classes or whose classes are doing well. So that's why I didn't circle Miss Hildreth's. I circled classes. Okay, so classes is a simple subject. Miss Hildreth's is part of the complete subject. Okay, now in our predicate, if you see, if you look closely, I circled are and doing because sometimes you have action verbs and then you have a linking verb that is being used as a helping verb. And so it tells the time. I hope sell the time of when the verb is being done. So that's why I circled are doing. Those are my verbs. Okay. So I circle classes, put a line between classes and are doing, circled are and doing. Okay. If you have any questions, please be come ask me. Okay. So my second example, and look closely at this one because then this was on your notes. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. I have. Some of the kids are not going to the game. Some of the kids are is my complete subject. 
are not going to the game is my complete predicate. I circled the word some because some is acting as the simple subject. If you go back and you look down at the bottom of your notes, I said of the kids, I said, I think in the notes, it said, if you have the preposition of before a noun or pronoun, but most of the time it's a noun, this is called an infinitive. And I wrote it here too. This is an infinitive. It is not at the actual subject. It's describing the subject. So that's why I put little parentheses and they're hard to tell, but I put those around the of the kids and I wrote you this note. So my actual simple subject is some, okay? So some is the simple subject of the kids is an infinitive. You don't need it in the sentence. And if I was to take my finger, kind of cover it up, some are not going to the game. It still makes sense of the kids just gave us a little bit more description, okay? So, some is my simple subject of the kids is an infinitive. You don't need an infinitive, it just adds to the sentence, okay? So when you're reading your sentences, look carefully to see if you see a preposition like of or to or from, and that'll help you decide what your su simple subject is. Now, in my predicate, I have are not going to the game. Now, typically, like in the first sentence, are and doing were right next to each other. That's not always the case. So, and same like the first one, I have a helping verb or a linking verb being used as a helping verb, are, so I circled that one. Not, this is a double negative, but I always say not is not a verb. So, when I look at my sentence, are not going to the game, I know in my head from that little line, not is not a verb, then I go on to the next word, going is an action verb, so that's why I circled are, and I circled going, and I skipped not, okay? So, you're going to come down here, and in part one, you're going to read the sentence, the plant sprouted quickly after the first rain, you're going to figure out what your complete subject is, and what your complete predicate is, draw the line in between, then you're going to circle your simple subject, simple your circle your simple predicate, okay? Remember, simple subject is a noun or pronoun. Simple predicate is an action verb or a linking verb, or it may be a linking verb and an action verb together because the linking verb is being used as a helping verb, like up here, okay? Down here is where you're going to write your sentences. You can write about whatever topic you want, as long as it's appropriate. The sentence should be six to eight words in length. And this will prove, if you watch the video, when I look at your sentences and your sentence length. Six to eight words in length. You must have proper capitalization and punctuation. You must circle your simple subject, circle your simple predicate, and draw a line between the complete subject and complete predicate. If you have a question, please come see me. If you want me to check it over before you turn it in, I'll be glad to do so as long as I'm not talking to the other students. And remember, smiley face, hi Miss Hildreth, and you'll get a shield. Prove to me that you watched the video. Have a great day.